Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. It is a beautiful day today at the lake. You can see we got the kayak and I got a special one today because I have three different seats. I have the original seat for the Ocean Kayak Prowler 13. And then I have the seat that I made. It's just a stadium seat. And then I have a seat I just bought off Amazon that I'm gonna try. The stadium seat sits a little high, so it's, it's kind of shaky and wobbly. Um, I did tip over last time we came out, so I'm going to try this new seat out, and if it works, um, we might upgrade the seat on my wife's kayak with this new seat. So let's get to it, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, y'all, there's the three seats. There's my stadium seat that I manufactured, my little DIY project. I'm going to link the video to that right up here about how I made that and everything. And then here is the stock seat. Um, it's it's decent. The the hinges are good. They haven't broke yet. Um, the padding is, is pretty thin and you get wet using this seat. So I bought this seat on Amazon and the padding is a little thicker. So hopefully it's gonna be a little bit more comfortable. So we're going to give this one a try today because the last time I was out, I tipped over in that one because you sit up an extra, I don't know, what is that, like five inches? All right, let's get this seat hooked up. It's brand spanking new, so we're going to have to adjust all of these, all of these right here. Okay, let's figure out which straps go where. These are the back straps, which would go here, and here, and these are the front straps, which would go there. And here. So I can already notice that these I don't know, these clasps, whatever you want to call them, they are not as high quality as the ones that came on this kayak. So the original seat, these these hasps are, are beefy. Like, they've lasted a long time and they haven't broke. These are chintzy and probably won't last long. And it doesn't look like there's really any way to replace them. Okay. Got these backwards. These ones go here and then get pulled real tight. These ones go here. Yeah, that's how it goes. Whew, those, those ducks are freaking out and making me think there's a big old bass over there. Whenever I hear a splash on the water, my heart gets to beating a little faster. Okay, I got those pretty much as tight as they'll go. Yep. And then these, I want to loosen this up just a touch. 
Yeah, bring that back back a little bit. All right, let's sit in it and see. All right, let's loosen this up uh, just a touch. Well, it fits and it's comfy. Let's go get some. Let's go get some rods and get out on the water. Golly, it's a pretty day. Just a little bit breezy. Nothing we can't handle. Alrighty, y'all, we are on the water trying out this new seat. This new seat's got good back support. Look at that. That is a beautiful day. That's comfortable. I like this seat. And I'm sitting lower in the water, so I'm not feeling like I'm going to tip over so easy. That stadium seat is awesome, but you sit so high. This kayak's kind of kind of tipsy anyways. It's not it's not like one of those flat bottom kayaks, so I'm, I'm really liking this seat. Let's go see if we can catch a couple of fish, huh? Everything here by the boat launch is... Oh no, they tipped over in their kayak or their canoe. Y'all just abandon your parents when they tip over? <laughs> Y'all just abandon your parents when they tip over? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be such a nice day. It's like perfect temperature. I would not wanna flip over though. The guy at the boat ramp said it was 67 degrees, the water temperature. And he said they should be bedding. I already seen a couple bass on a bed, so we know that's true. We got a jig, a chatterbait, and a wacky worm rigged and ready to go. And it just rained real hard last night. Oh, there's a big old gar pike. Look at that. He's just chilling there. I wonder if he's still there. No, he spooked off. He was so well camouflaged, he was just right there. That was pretty cool. Lots of grass out here. Oh wow, something was here, scooted out. Oh, it's a big old carp, he's right there. That was cool. Those are little bass jumping after dragonflies, I think. Let's see if we can get the skunk out of the boat. I saw where he jumped. Right there off of that point. Yep, just like I thought. Yes, got that skunk out of the boat. Come on, chill out, chill out. I'm gonna put you back. You're so cute, little guy. Eating on those dragonflies, were you? You gave me, you gave away your location. Now that the skunk is out of the boat, let's go see if we can find us a big old fat bedding fish. Look at, I'm drifting this shoreline and those guys in a boat. 
Like they have a boat. They can fish anywhere on the whole lake and they fish my shoreline. I'll just go to the other side. is sounding a little bit funny. <laughs> it sounds like it's gonna fall apart. I don't know, it's got, I think it got water in it from the spool and I don't know, man. It cast far though. You'd think there'd be a bass bed up here, it's so shallow. Let's see if I can stand up without falling in. <sighs> well, my butt is sore. This seat is comfy, but not as comfy as I thought it was going to be. I doubt it. I don't think it's any more comfortable than a stock seat. I did see a fish jump right in that corner. We'll see if it was a bass. He might eat this wacky worm right there, yep. Yep, he was a fish. He's barely hooked. He's a little bit bigger. There we go. There we go. On the wacky worm again. I'm telling y'all, gonna be fishing this a lot when they're betting because it's just so hard to beat. It's like a Texas rig, but wacky. It's amazing. Oh, look at that male. He's been spawning. He's got them white fins. Whoo, such a pretty fish. You go back and protect your nest, little guy. Whew, that was awesome. We finally got one that was a little bit bigger. This seat has lots of back support. It's a, it's definitely an upgrade from what Amanda's seat is. I don't think it's an upgrade from the original seat on this. And the stadium seat on this one is a little bit more comfortable. But um, we're definitely going to put this, this seat on Amanda's kayak because it's a lot better than what she has. Hers is broken. Actually, one of these little hasps here broke off. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you learned something. We caught a couple fish. It was a lot of fun. And don't forget to fish, learn, repeat. We'll catch you on the next one.